So with Android and iOS doing so well, and let's be honest here, Android is pretty much dominating the smartphone game. Uh, phones, the operating system of Windows Phone is having a hard time keeping up. Some people focus on market share and things like that, but I focus mainly on the user experience. And that's what you're gonna get in this video. This is a kind of a, my full review for the Lumia 650, more so Windows Phone, and how it's been for me. Uh, let's take a closer look. On paper, this phone probably won't sound too impressive, but I would say for a person who wants to try Windows Phone, who does not wanna kick out anything over 200 bucks for a device, just to get into the Windows um, ecosystem, this might be a good choice for you. So first I'm gonna give you a rundown of the specs on this particular device, and then we'll talk about Windows Phone as a whole and how it's doing in the market as far as I see it. So this is my Lumia 650, and I've had this probably for well over a month, using it on and off. Uh, use it as my daily driver for at least a week straight. Uh, and then after that, I kind of just used it for about two or three days out of the week uh, to just kind of get a feel for using a Windows phone again, since it had been so long since I've powered up my 640, which I still have. So spec wise, this is a 720p OLED display with clear black technology. It has an eight megapixel on the back with an LED flash that shoots in 720p. It has one gig of RAM and a Snapdragon 212 with a 2000 milliamp hour battery. So yeah, I know those specs don't sound like much, but this is a Windows device. So like iOS, you don't need much to power it. The one gig of RAM and the quad core Snapdragon 212 makes this phone seem like it's flying because it is Windows Phone. And Windows Phone doesn't take much to get it going. As long as you have a Windows Phone with one gig of RAM, I think you'll be okay for all your applications and gaming and things like that. Now this does have 16 gigs on board, so that's pretty sweet does have an SD card slot that can take up to a 256 gig card. Now, that's pretty impressive. On the front, you have an, a 5 megapixel that shoots in 720p. Both cameras are 2.2 aperture to those people that just want to know that. There's no, there's no uh, optical image stabilization or anything like that, but it does have autofocus on the rear. So, I don't think there's anything else I can tell you about specs that really stands out as impressive to me, that is. But this phone definitely, definitely is pocket friendly. You can find it. I got mine actually free and I took a number over to Cricut and just got their $30 plan and I got the phone free. And then, you know, unlock, you know me, unlock comes and you just start using it on T-Mobile. Unlock seven bucks or something like that. Just search around. Now, this phone in particular, let's take a look at the body uh, of the phone. This actually is a metal, metal body. And you know, believe it or not, this phone actually feels kind of premium. It's got a headphone jack on the top, noise cancellation microphone. You got your charging uh, port down on the bottom. You've got a speaker grill here, which doubles as a microphone. That's a front facing speaker grill too, by the way. So the speaker is pretty good on here. Uh, and then you've got an earpiece up there and you got your five megapixel uh, on the, on the uh, front there. So if you, hit your finger in this little groove right here. You probably wasn't expecting that. <laughs> it's got a removable battery. And then you've got your SD, uh, your SD card here and your SIM card there. Uh, you know, with this being having a metal chassis in it, it's, it, it gives it a, a premium feel. And this phone is so lightweight, man. I mean, for a person that's looking for like, that likes like the iPhone 7 or the iPhone 5S, those kind of smaller phones that are different operating systems, there are a lot of Android phones out there that are that are small like this. But I can tell you this. Now, I am a power Android user, so, but I will say this. Here's something that Windows Phone has been able to capture in, in, in the market, and people don't really understand it or know why, or they don't give it a chance, is this phone was free, and it's, now it retails from Microsoft, I think, for like 200 but you can catch it on sale. Even when this is not free on Cricut, it's only like 59 or 49 bucks. You would think that this phone will be sluggish, not run well, have a lot of problems. I gotta tell you, it's not. It's none of that. I've never had any problems with crashing, anything with this phone. And you know, a lot of things are done through the browser. Like you, we still don't have a YouTube app on Windows phone. Why is that? I don't get it, but that's just a small, Thing. you know there's other things that that probably are not in here as well but not having a YouTube app at this point it's just kind of why <laughs> why the development team I want to ask them why don't we have a YouTube app I don't get it 
But pretty much everything on this phone, the apps that I have installed, I use. So you can see I got my Twitter there, my Telegram Messenger, even Telegram is on Windows Phone. That's crazy. You know, you got Starbucks. I don't use Skype. That says preview. I don't use Skype though. Even my one of my favorite photo editors is on Windows Phone. That one right there. Avery. I, I use that on all, all operating systems. And then you got the Edge browser. It's really good too, by the way, guys. It's really good. And then you got your offline maps. I mean, I don't know. I've used all of these and just some other stuff like eBay and Word, PowerPoint, Excel. They're all there. And I've even got my Amazon, obviously. But more importantly, just my overall experience with Windows Phone is always positive. But I think, I don't know why, for some reason, I can speak for myself. I don't know why I'm not willing to pull the trigger on a Windows Phone that's considered premium, which carries a different price tag. Like T-Mobile just released the Auto 4S Windows Phone version, and it's 469 I think the reason, I, I don't know for sure, but I think probably my main reason is I have so many Android phones that I enjoy and other operating systems that I enjoy and I just haven't fully given Windows Phone. Like if I had to use this and I didn't have any of those phones, then yeah, I probably would you know, be willing to spend $400 on a Windows Phone. But I just can't pull the trigger on a Windows Phone right now because there's no Google services, which is something that I need. And I know this is Windows Phone, but Apple has Google some Google things that you can have. You can have Hangouts. You can have pretty much all the Google services. You can pretty much get them on iOS. But Windows Phone is another another story. If Windows Phone had Google support like that, a lot of people would continue to use, and even I will be willing to spend more money on a Windows Phone. Right now, I'm not, and I think that's probably one of the main reasons why I'm not. No Google support for me is a no go. Like I, I don't want to use third party apps for for Google services because they don't work well uh, they don't work like they should and I know people have are, are gonna tell me apps in the in the App Store that are Windows you know kind of knockoffs or you know it's Windows uh, alternatives excuse me uh, to Windows alternatives to Google but I just don't think so I've tried plenty of them I've taken you guys recommendations on other videos and that's kind of what strayed me away from Windows phone it's so sad but this is a beautiful device it's more than capable it's more than capable. Let me show you next to another device here that I'm currently using. This is the um, LePro S3 or LePro Le3, LePro Le, 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 Leico LePro3. Gosh, I blew it again on this video. <laughs> My bad, y'all. This is a hard tongue twister for me. But this is a phone that is another affordable one, but it costs 400 bucks. You have to catch it on sale for 300. Uh, but Pretty much it performs well, uh, and this phone performs just as well as that phone. You know, like I'm talking for day to day task. I don't do a lot of gaming, so no phone is going to really impress me with that because I don't do it. That's not a requirement for me. But what I can tell you is that this phone is very impressive, and I think it's well worth finding out or trying to get it. The, the loudspeaker on the bottom for, for the um, media content is really, really nice. Let me see if I got some videos. I'm pretty sure I got some videos here I can show you. Uh, yeah, let me just show you the sample of my, my videos that I did with this phone. All right, guys, this is a front sample from the Lumia 650. Uh, pretty decent camera. Not the top of the line camera, but it is decent. It's pretty good. Now, let's, I think maybe I'll post some photos. So let me show you the rear camera. This is really good. All right, guys, video sample from the Lumia 650. Really, really solid for what that price point is. It's really nice. Check this footage out. I mean, just look at that quality. That's really, really good quality, man. And I took some, just some photos here. Look at this. This was taken with this phone. Look at that quality. That's really, really good. Uh, coming from that 8 megapixel camera on the back. Some might say, oh, yeah, it's, you know, it's not good. But listen, got to try it. This is a good camera. Look at these shots taken with this phone. You just, it's kind of one of those things where you have to have the right lighting. And it has to be uh, just one. Of, all phones, though, I found out that does need to. You need to have the right lighting to get the right um uh, footage, but let me tell you, man, this is not a bad camera at all. It's 
It's not a bad camera. The phone itself is a good phone. The operating system needs some support. In order for me to pull the trigger on a phone that costs 400 plus, maybe even 300 plus, 200 plus for a Windows phone, well, I'll go to 300 because I definitely get the 1520 again for under, because you can find those now for like under 300. And that probably is the most premium phone that I purchased. And the only reason I got it back then is because they gave it to me free. That was the only reason I picked it up. Other than that, I would have never probably spent that 600 bucks or whatever it costs, but I would definitely buy one now. As a matter of fact, I probably will bring that phone back in. I can find them unlocked everywhere now, brand new for 200 easy. Anyway, um, so don't be surprised if you see that again, because I've already got brand new accessories for that phone that I never used. Don't believe me? Let me show you. Here's a brand new case for the 1520. And this is how big the 1520 would be. Wow. And here's some um, screen protectors. Wow, let me check this out real quick. It's a, it's a determining factor whether I want to bring that in. If you still have a 1520, should I buy it again? Because I bought it once before. I've never opened Let me tell you something. I never opened this. These are in my drawer of things that I need to review. <laughs> and I have a lot. This is what I will be looking at in size. And this is way better for me. I think I might pull that trigger, man. I'm not even kidding. So if you still have a 1520, do you think I should buy it in 2016? Do you think it's worth it? Because I've got brand new accessories. This has been in my drawer probably for over a year, almost two years. And I found it at the back of my drawer right before I was doing this video. And this is a case I bought for the 1520. The 1520 is a big brick of a phone, but it can definitely compete with some of today's market for sure. And I've already got screen protectors and everything. so. What do you guys think? Should I bring in the 1520? Windows Phone is impressive, uh, but I'm not willing to spend, um, you know, 400 bucks for a Windows Phone device at this point. I don't care how much I like the operating system. Uh, without the support I need and without Google services, uh, it's probably just, it's never going to be a top of the line operating system that I'm willing to spend that kind of cash on. Anyway, it's your man J. Will. Do I like the 650? Oh yeah. Not because I got it for free either. I just wanted to get a nice premium Windows phone. And I wanted to, it kept saying inside a metal body and I was like, yeah, I gotta check that out. Sound quality and everything is good on this. The cameras are very impressive for, for a phone of this price range. Like they're asking 200, I think at the Microsoft store, but Cricut has it obviously as you can see. Uh, but you know, hey, if you can grab this phone, I would recommend it to a person, you know, who doesn't want to um, spend a lot of money and you want to try out Windows Phone, I would definitely recommend this. Even the unlocked version, I would recommend it. But then you start to get into more premium phones that you can get uh, for that $200 price tag. So it's your man, Jay Will. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please share and subscribe and, you know, leave a comment. Uh, well, you don't have to subscribe if you want to. You can, I, I found out that I have a lot of people that follow me that aren't actually subscribed. So shout out to those people who don't like to get notifications, but you come back to the videos and, to, and you know who I am and just to watch. And so I appreciate that. So you don't have to su subscribe, uh, but because subscriptions make sure that's just to let you know that I've posted a video and you'll get a notification if you hit that notification. Shout out to the notification squad too. That's always on deck immediately when I hit submit or like a video goes live on my channel <laughs> and uh, the notifications start blowing up. I always know I'm in another room or I'm watching TV or I'm not at home and a video goes live <laughs> and uh, the notification squad is on deck. So shout out to the notification squad. Drop a drop a comment down below if you're on notification squad. It's your man Jay Will. I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, I'd recommend this phone. And now I'm considering bringing in uh, uh, a refurbished or a brand new 1520 if I can get one. See you in the next video. Take care.